Hey YouTube, it's Carla Archangel56 and today is Sunday, August the 25th, 2013. And I know I normally do my updates on Monday, but I had a little time to kill, so here I am. Um, I'll just go to the numbers um, in September of 2011, which is when I started my six month documentation uh, with my primary care physician. I weighed 221 pounds. And on the day of surgery, which was June the 18th, 2012, I weighed 193, and today I weighed 117. So I'm still maintaining. I go up and down depending on the, well, too much information, the poop situation. Last week I was 115, today I was 117, and I've been up and down, you know, all week long. But that's where I maintain is in that, that little three, two to three pound range, so I'm good. Um, nothing's really changed. I did eat two real meals yesterday. For me, that's big, and I ate a half a piece of wheat toast for breakfast yesterday. I ate at Cracker Barrel. I had one egg and um, a piece and a half of bacon and a half a piece of toast, and it was a Carla day yesterday. I, I decided, you know, it's been 14 months since I had my surgery. I've lost over 100 pounds. And I've just kind of been making do with the bras, okay? I, you know, or I've just kind of guessed at what I thought would be the correct one, and they just fit, don't fit, and I was just tired of it. So I had just a little extra money, and I thought, okay, I'm going to Decatur, and I'm going shopping, and I'm going to Victoria's Secret, and I'm going to get fitted for bras. And I did that, and... I did buy a couple. I was real practical, you know, since I have none that really fit. I bought, you know, white and beige. You know, how more practical can you get than that? And and I bought five pairs of panties. So I thought I did really good yesterday. And ta-da, the new size is 34C. You know, I've read these articles about how women, none of us wear the correct size bra. And usually it's, we're not wearing a cup size that's big enough. You know, and I would never have dreamed because there's nothing, sorry, that there's the girls, there's nothing left. That's where I lost all my weight, at, you know, or not all of it, but the majority. And uh, I've been wearing like a 34A. And she said, no, 34, that's why they don't fit. <laughs> so 34C is uh, the, the new size, and um, I'm good. So I, ha I have some new undies. I love pretty undies. And that's what I did yesterday. Um, I, I did a lot of shopping. I didn't really buy anything else um, other other than the underwear. That was that was enough. That was like a major investment. Well, not really, but you know, y'all know how much they cost. So I got the little pink bag, and yeah, actually I've got pictures, but I, I think I've told y'all before. I have no clue how to put them on here. So. Um, I have pictures of what I ate yesterday, and then I went to a seafood restaurant, <laughs> and they had these great-looking lunches, but I was by myself. I'm going, there's no way I can eat all this food, and seafood is not really good to me, warmed up later, you know. So I looked at the girl, and I said, you got a child's menu, and she looked at me like I'd lost my mind. So I explained to her, and uh, so she brought me a child's menu, and I ordered... Uh, a child's shrimp plate and broccoli so it came with shrimp and broccoli and that's what I had um, and it, it wound up only costing four dollars and ninety nine cents because the other lunches were pretty expensive so I enjoyed my little shrimp and my little broccoli and uh, my breakfast yesterday and then last night I was back to yogurt and protein bars um, today I ha I've had I actually ate lunch. Um, we'll just continue on with the restaurants and what I eat. I, if I go to a Mexican restaurant, which is where I did to, what I did today, um, I ordered I ordered their grilled steak and grilled vegetables, which is basically what goes in fajitas. But I order it a la carte, and it, there's enough for two good meals, sometimes three meals. 
And so that's, you know, I don't, I don't even let them bring, you know, usually don't let them bring the chips, no beans, no rice, just the vegetables and the meat. And, and that's a, that's a good option. And I really like that. And I've, I've eaten that since, you know, almost since the beginning after surgery, as soon as I could start eating, you know, firm protein, I, I could do that better than anything else. It's the little strips of steak and, um, that goes down really well. So that's another thing I don't think I did in my food video um, last week that that I also eat. Um, I'm waiting. I'm going to an organ concert. Our minister of music is um, has resigned and he's leaving and he's super talented and he's doing an organ concert today. It's his last day. Um, this next week I'll I'll be busy. I'm starting my my second part-time job um, with Alabama Education Association and I'm excited about that going into schools um, and that's pretty much it nothing else really exciting going on just a great Sunday sunny Sunday afternoon we've had so much rain and it's finally kind of dried out and the rain has stopped for a while and I know some people haven't had rain but we've had our share of rain um, so I'm glad to see the Sun and it's actually warmed up I mean for August in Alabama this year, it's been crazy. It has not been over 90 degrees, and usually we're between 90 and 100 the whole month of August with humidity, and it's miserable. has not been miserable uh, at all this year. Um, we'll probably pay for it in one of two f forms. Either it's going to get really hot for a little while, or we're going to have a really early bad winter. And I know some of you think, well, what does it do in Alabama? It gets as cold here as it does anywhere else. It snows here, but what we, when we have problems, we have ice storms. Because before the snow comes in, everything freezes here, and we have to deal with the ice. Um, so if it's a really bad winter, that's usually what we have. It just does not stay cold, you know, for extended periods of time. Like in the north, I know, you know, once it hits a certain date, you're pretty much constant temperature. In Alabama, you wait, you know, 20 minutes and it's going to change. Well, not really 20 minutes, but um, it does get really cold here in the winter and we do have snow and we do have ice. Um, and the uh, man that I'm sitting with just swears that the last time we had a really bad winter, um, it was a summer like this. And he, he's predicting a really bad winter. And he's been around 92 years, so I think he should know. I, I'm sitting at the playground at elementary school, and their cars just coming back and forth. Hope you can hear me. Okay, I am going to say goodbye, and I will try to get this uploaded. Hope you all have a rest of a wonderful, fabulous Sunday and a great week next week. Go out and rock your journey. Hugs to you. Bye.